If you're going to own and drive one of these older Mercedes diesels, there's something very important I need to share with you. If, if, you're, new, if you're new to these old diesels, this is one of the first things you need to learn. And, and how do I know that? Well, there's two reasons. One is way back, you know, 15 years ago when we started this business and we started selling uh, Mercedes parts on the internet, we would get lots of questions from people, hey, my diesel won't shut off. No, I was driving my diesel, it won't shut off. You know, <laughs> where do I pull the wire to the distributor? <laughs> and it became very obvious that people didn't really understand that the principle of diesel engine shut off is quite different from gasoline engine shut off. So the ver in, a, in the year 2000, the very first manual I wrote was diesel vacuum source troubleshooting and repair. That's the first manual I ever wrote because I got tired of answering emails, okay? I just I was answering emails all the time. How do you test if you're getting vacuum? How do you test the shutoff valve? How do you test the vacuum pump? What, what, what's going on here? What's going on there? So I wrote this manual and that's what really started this business. It really did. Uh, you know, writing that first manual, once again, <laughs> the motivation was so I didn't have to answer so many emails. And you know, we're still getting those emails today. Hey, I just got this old 240D and it won't shut off. What do, what, what do I need? So it's kind of a common problem as these old Mercedes diesels age, you know, the fuel shutoff system just kind of fails. And when it does, the only way to shut your engine off is to push on that emergency lever on the valve cover. And, you know, and so make sure that works, okay? If you're gonna own, just make sure, we won't go over that in this video, but make sure that shut off lever, just try it sometime with the engine running, because it's very embarrassing to not be able to shut off your diesel at all. It'll just keep running. Uh, some people like, uh, with manual transmissions, have resorted to putting it in gear and popping the clutch to try to get the engine to stall, and I, wouldn't, I would not advise that. So what I wanna do is I wanna just sh show you how a diesel engine built primarily from the mid to late 70s up to the mid 80s, how, how it shuts down, what is the key component that makes it shut down, and how do you troubleshoot whether that's the problem or not. This is an injection pump off an 83-300D turbo. And right here, you can see the device that shuts the engine down. That's called the the vacuum shutoff valve. It's mounted right at the back end of these four and five cylinder injection pumps. Now this first started showing up in the 1975 300 D and then in 1977 it was installed on the W123, 240 D, 300 D and so on and then of course in 1978 it showed up on the W116 300 SD. So the range on these is you know right in the, the mid to late 70s right up to the mid uh, 1980s. The newer, uh, the newer style are different, so we're only talking about these, these, these years right in here. If you're gonna own one of these older diesels, like I said, this is, this is something you need to understand, you need to know about, okay? It's real important because, <laughs> as I said, uh, a lot of people are really confused about this. So what happens is I'm gonna first, I'm gonna show you a shutoff valve with it removed from the back of the injection pump. It's made up of a chamber with a vacuum uh, diaphragm in here. And when you apply vacuum, when the vacuum is applied to the chamber, it pulls this lever in, see that? It pulls the lever in like that. And what that lever does is it pulls on the rack in the pump and shuts the fuel off. So the, the engine, you know, that's how the engine shuts off. You just the pump is turning off the fuel, so no more fuel is flowing out of these delivery valves to your fuel injection, and it just quits. So if the engine is not quitting quickly, let's say it's kind of sputtering and muttering and moaning and finally quits, it could be that this is partially working, but not fully working. If it's fully working with no vacuum leaks inside, it should just pull back all the way and your engine should shut off. So let's put this to the test. To test these, you need a vacuum hand pump tester to apply vacuum. And let's see what happens this one as I try to pump it up. Look at that. See that? It's leaking. It's, it's just not pulling it all the way down. So this is a classic example of the type that may try to shut the engine off, 
But notice here, I cannot get it past, you know, five inches on the vacuum gauge. It's, it'll pull it down and see that? It'll pull it down and then it leaks back. So this valve was struggling to shut off the engine. So if you're having problems with the engine turning off, it could be this valve, but not necessarily. It could be an issue with the vacuum going to the valve. So the way you're going to test it is watch this. Okay, let's say you have your old diesel and it's not shutting off properly. The very first thing you want to do is you want to use a vacuum hand pump tester, disconnect the vacuum hose that's on the shutoff valve, apply a vacuum hand pump, and while the engine is running, okay, it's not running in this video, but while the engine is running, you just start pumping this up and the engine should quit immediately. Now look at this, see how this, is, this one is holding vacuum. No leak down and the engine quit immediately. So we know, we absolutely know for sure because there's no leak down and the engine shut off immediately. Now watch what happens when I remove the vacuum. You can hear the leak back so you know it was holding vacuum. So you're going to think, well gee, my engine's not shutting off but it is not this right here. That means you have an issue with your vacuum system. Something is wrong in your vacuum system that's not getting proper vacuum to this shutoff valve right here. So uh, if, if that's the problem, uh, I have a complete manual on vacuum source troubleshooting. It's more than I can cover in this video, but I just wanted to show you this little tip and I wanted to show you in this video what does indeed shut off an older diesel engine. Along with that manual I mentioned about the diesel source uh, troubleshooting and repair, we also have a number of resources on my website which can help you if you're having shutoff issues. Uh, we have high quality vacuum hand pumps uh, with a little extra uh, add-ons and connections that you'll need when working on a Mercedes diesel that, that you might not find elsewhere. I would recommend, if, you, if you've got one of these diesels and you plan to work on it yourself, this is one of the first special tools you should buy. Right here, vacuum hand pump tester, okay? Not only can it help you with your shutoff problems, it can help you with door locks and other issues in and around that, uh, that Mercedes diesel. We also uh, carry a new shutoff valves uh, and we have other vacuum service kits, hose connections, new hose, new line, because a lot of times it's, you know, some hose is broken or some line, you know, as a, as a parting shot here, I, I, uh, I don't, I don't want to criticize anyone in this video that doesn't know why the Mercedes diesel shuts off. I, because I've been there, okay, I can still remember this was over 20 years ago. I got an 82 240D and I did the first oil change on it. I thought, wow, this is really cool. I can do an oil change. I get the filters handy. It's really easy to get to. And when I when I went to drive the car, and I took it for a little test drive. I came back. I went to shut it off. It wouldn't shut off. And I go, what? What's wrong? <laughs> and you know, and I so I've been there. I know the feeling. It's like, what? Why won't this engine shut off? Of course, what I did was very, very common problem. And you have to be careful when you're doing your oil changes. I knocked off. I knocked off the vacuum hose. I did a little research and found, oh yeah. There's a vacuum hose there that goes to the shutoff, and I had knocked it off when I had changed the, the oil filter. So uh, I understand, you know, this is part of the learning curve, and that's what we want to do in this whole series that I'm doing on owning and maintaining an old Mercedes diesel. So I hope you enjoyed this video.